Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. Today you are going to have a detailed explanation about quantum computing. Well, if you have watched my short video about quantum computing, then you probably might know what quantum computing is, but however. Quantum computing is a type of computing that uses quantum mechanical phenomena, such as superposition and entanglement, to perform operations on data. Unlike traditional computers, which store information in bits that are either 0 or 1, quantum computers use quantum bits, or qubits, which can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This allows quantum computers to perform certain types of calculations much more quickly than classical computers. Quantum computers use the principles of quantum mechanics, which is the branch of physics that studies the behavior of subatomic particles, to manipulate and process information. In classical computing, information is processed using transistors, which are tiny electronic switches that can be in either an on or off state. In quantum computing, information is processed using quantum bits, or qubits, which can be in multiple states simultaneously. One of the key features of quantum computing is that it takes advantage of the principles of superposition and entanglement. Superposition is the ability of a qubit to be in multiple states at the same time. While entanglement is the phenomenon in which two or more qubits become connected in such a way that the state of one affects the state of the others. These phenomena allow quantum computers to perform certain types of calculations much faster than classical computers. Quantum computers have the potential to solve certain problems that are difficult or impossible for classical computers to solve. For example, they could be used to simulate complex quantum systems, such as molecules, which could help researchers understand chemical reactions and develop new drugs. They could also be used to perform complex calculations in fields such as cryptography and finance. However, there are also many challenges to building and using quantum computers. For example, qubits are extremely delicate and are easily disrupted by external influences, such as heat or electromagnetic radiation. As a result, quantum computers must be carefully isolated from their environment in order to function properly. Additionally, quantum computers are still in the early stages of development and are not yet as powerful as classical computers. But however it is very clear that in the near future quantum computers will be more powerful and fast than the classical computers. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. But wait! Don't go anywhere quickly. Please watch my two other videos. If you want to go outer space you can click on the video on the left, and click the right video if you don't know what are traffic lights. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.